Hey guys, this is B, and welcome back to my channel. Today is January 2021, and I would like to share what I've been doing so far with my Hobonichi. Let's start. So the first one is my uh, a5 five-year uh, five uh, techo and uh, what I've done so far it's just pretty straightforward nothing fancy and inside I've uh, written um, entries I've already started written entries and then anything uh, that I would like to indicate further that's not sufficient in this side I put on this area right here and yeah so far uh done two days i uh, haven't written yet and the pen and ink that i'm using for my five year uh techo it is uh an archival ink uh this one is by the atramentis uh the color is document ink gray so this is like an archival um ink and I put that one in my uh, pilot uh, kakono because I've read online that if ever you are like to use archival inks, uh, better put it in an inexpensive pen that you won't worry about uh, so that you don't have any problems like cleaning or all, anything like that. And the nib size uh, of this one is the um, if it focuses it's the m it is the uh, m size so the smiley is a bit um different compared to the previous one that i used to use before in my jibun techo so that's pretty much it for the five year and then uh, let's move on to the planner itself let me just tuck this one away so you've got the uh, a6 uh, planner this is an English version uh, this is I use the clear cover and if you watch my unboxing video so this is uh, from the um, part two of unboxing the Kakuma one this was initially exclusive uh, for for China and then it was part of the meet again sale uh, that I had uh, last year and then I'll start off first with uh, this one right here so this is the uh, weekly supplement and as I've mentioned uh, previously on my other videos I wanted uh, work related stuff um, separate from the from the planner and what I have so far because I'm still on vacation um, I have moved over the uh, template or guide on how I'm gonna use this one so on this section right here I don't know if the camera is picking it but I'll just read it out so that contains like task list any carryover task uh, waiting on upcoming that can be the per that will be the purpose of this side right here the one on the bottom portion uh, it's for notes any deadlines or any pending stuff from certain people that I want to take note of it's gonna be on this section right here and then the top portion uh, the three uh, boxes at the top it can either be priorities, uh, project, um, personal goals for the month, and I'll try to also incorporate a uh, calendex from the bullet journal system. And then the sections on this area right here, it'll either be checklists, task appointments, um, time blocking, because uh, I uh, use uh, Pomodoro technique at work, and then any subtask for certain projects, if that's the one that I have highlighted in here. And then uh, this portion is for any progress checklists that uh, pertains to personal goals of the month. 
and last but not the least um, any um, uh, block that may refer to the A6 planner techo for the calendex meaning if I indicated certain like page here I would pretty much end up numbering something in this portion I still maybe on the corner um, in here uh, I haven't really started it yet uh, because I saw that for the day free that feature is the, the numbered uh, pages are available in the day free format but not on the original planner so that's the purpose of this section right here and the only time I'm really going to start using this portion is uh, on the 4th. Whatever pending things that I have that for work, it's going to be pretty much itemized here like a master task list. And then I can start distributing things towards the week. So that's the weekly supplement. And then for the Tetra itself, I don't have anything yet on... In here I don't have uh, placed any stuff uh, the back portion I've got the clip and then the clear folder and what else yeah that's it inside the clear for folder it has those um, stickers that I originally bought from the from the website and then yeah that's it just sits uh, right in here so for the TED show itself uh, nothing fancy on the first page I'm still not sure if I want to decorate it for now. I'm leaving it as it is. And the dates, um, still the same. And then what we have here for, this is the yearly one. Uh, you might have seen this as a preview from my uh, other videos. I'll just link that one up. And this portion right here is a, let me just hold on. This portion right here is actually, um, this is a Jibun Techo. Uh, it's coming from uh, this side. So this is like my tracker. So I've only track a couple of things because everything is limited. And I transitioned that over in here. And uh, if there was one post from the Facebook group for Hobonichi Techo users um, that actually uh, put this one up. And let me see if I can focus. Uh, there. So what I have instead in this area, this is for, for December, is uh, symbols. All of these symbols, I know what it means because there's no way for me to write them because on the because inside the uh, Jibun Techo I've got space to write whatever's the title so to be able to properly transition that because this one worked for me pretty pretty well it made it made me more accountable and mindful of what I want to track that's how I'm using the yearly uh, section uh, yearly index I don't know if that's the um, official name but I'll the symbols uh, the first one is uh, like 15 to 20 minutes before work like I have to create summary so that I end my work on time the second symbol uh, it has like symbol for dollar so that's a no spend so if I didn't spend anything for that day, meaning I'll be able to color that one in. The third one is exercise. Exercise, uh, if you follow me in Instagram, that would be either cycling, uh, running on a treadmill, just a simple uh, aerobic workout. I would track that one in here. The fourth one is, uh, I, I got it uh, based from the emoji icon, uh, and that one is for meditation. So just 
three to five minutes every day. That's really, really enough for me. The next one, uh, it has that Z's. Obviously, it's sleep. So every time I get six hours of sleep or more, I can shade this one out. And then the next one is reading. So uh, I want to continue reading uh, books, articles, blogs, or anything at all, just to continually uh, learn about anything that I'm curious about for that particular day or whatever. And last but not the least, this is a new addition that I did for this year, uh, and that is to write every day. And as you notice for the month of December, I'm pretty consistent about it. So it's, it's like I'm turning a simple action into a habit so that regardless of how busy I am for the day, I would chunk like maybe 15 to 20 minutes. And I even have uh, set alarms and two reminders on my phone to make myself accountable to be able to go through the uh, the demand of the tattoo itself because uh, what I've uh, realized for 2020 is that uh, writing things down is very therapeutic for me so hence I want to continue that one on and uh, as I film this video I'm only you can see that every day I would shade it like in here like it's all one slot shade because I was still using the Jibun Techo and then just to update this one and that's where I'll color and what I use in this one is uh, it's the uh, mild liner so I use the upper this tip right here now we move on to the monthly so for the monthly page, uh, not everyone is actually using this um, portion and I don't want to be wasteful of how you'd like to use this one right here. And uh, I just continued what I was doing previously on my Jibun Techo and that is um, whatever I'm doing for the month, like for example, like for December, it is doodles. So like one doodle a day of anything that I could think of and that's what I have for the month of December and then just to change things up because sometimes you may get bored of doodling or you don't feel like doing it uh, on the following month as well I change it from doodles to uh, a gratitude log so I currently have um, two entries uh, right now and uh, this is what what are you thankful or grateful for for the day regardless of what it is and what I've posted so far the first day of January it was coffee with friends uh, the second one uh, I did uh, night ride cycling uh, with my husband uh, because we've been planning that for ages and because for the month of December here in Malaysia it's either drizzling or raining at night so we couldn't we've been planning it I think for a couple of days or more than a week and we were lucky uh, on the second to be able to do that because I wanted to see uh, how the uh, there's a place called uh, River of Life uh, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, I've posted the photo there. That's what I have for January so far. And nothing yet on what I want to do. Because uh, if, if you do um, advance um, plotting of what your current idea, I do things on what I wanted to do for the month like a day before or on the start of the day itself and the reason behind that is because when i was doing uh like bullet journaling before on my a5 um 
Lurchstone notebook. I noticed that when I do advanced stuff for what are ideas that I have, when a week before or a few days before that actual month happens, I'm not feeling it. What I found effective is like when I was still using my Jibun Techo, I was uh, I was doing um, like typical schedule for month uh, for for the monthly layout like what are appointments that you do, any anything that uh, needs to put uh, attention to certain dates like how you traditionally use the monthly one and I kind of miss the doodle part, hence I use the doodle section in here. And then I'm, I'm, I still don't know what I'll be doing next for the month of um, February. But so far, the gratitude log uh, is great. After the monthly ones, we now turn to the uh, turning the page to a new year. And what this is is, I didn't I didn't know what to actually write in this area uh, right here. And uh, when I started using the Hobonichi, I didn't write this area first. I actually wrote entries first on what it is because I want to be accountable that when if it's the first of January, I write in here whatever it is. I still continue the usage of um, stickers and then in here I even have um, stamps as well and then washi and when I was uh, thinking of what it what was what will be my word for the year uh, somebody posted on the Facebook group uh, about the Hobonichi Techo Omikuji so that's the one right here and it gives you a word for the year uh, that you can use as a guideline. Like it's it's some sort of like uh, instead of having uh, a vision board for your year, you just got a word itself. What I've written in this area is for 2020. And last year's word was unravel. I did go through that one on uh, one of my videos. I just linked that one there. And it's just a summary of what are the good things that have happened because we all know 2020 was a bit chaotic. And uh, I did the uh, writing for uh, when you go to Hobonichi's website. So it's not the greatest, but I tried. And my word for the year for 2021 is start. And I'll just read through what's written on the omokuji one about the kanji and uh, it says when you're the one who takes the initiative to make things and make things happen the year ahead is sure to be a fun one even if the situation seems unchangeable taking the steps to put things into action on your end might live in things up if you find yourself wishing something would happen or that you had something, take the first step to bring your wish to fruition. So something about like law of attraction or something. And uh, moving, uh, continuing, you'll meet a lot of brand new people in your life if you take the time to talk to someone in a completely different situation than you or get to know someone you've never really talked to before it's even good to just try a shop you've never been to before so that's the whole um our writing for the kanji start and then i just placed this is from the ladoti vita and then another random sticker just to fill the space next page uh for coming up january it's still empty because what i wanted to do on this part is to create a summary of what has happened for the month of january and put it in here whether if it's in bullet form paragraph that's what i'm going to do in this area and for the daily entry so far i've got two 
uh, whatever it is that I wanted to write. So it's more of the journaling um, style, uh, more, uh, it's not more detailed or things that I have, I didn't write on my five year techo, usually is written in here. And yeah, I got those stickers. If there's any significant time, I would use that area. And I do like about the uh, bottom portion for the coats. So that's actually one of the reasons why I end up getting the um, English version for the planner because I appreciate the, the coats section. And I don't know how they come up with all of these things, but I do like it. And uh, that's what I have for this one. And then the second page, so I did cycling, water. The rubber stamp is uh, using this one. This is from Everyday Explorers. And I use this uh, Versa Magic Chalk Ink uh, for it. It doesn't smudge so far. And I just usually remove things and then Put it in an acrylic block and then use it and then this one the dolce vita this is a washi tape from kita kita stickers and yeah it's this one right here and what else what else do i have yeah star oh yeah last uh this one is like uh, my index tab i o only placed one so far so nothing for the other months and this one from uh, Kokuyo this so I they have different designs and this is how it looks like and this is a uh, this is multi-purpose so it has uh, like a little uh, like a little gap in there so it's not really that if I close it uh, yeah so it's it's you can still see it you can feel it uh, when you try to to do that and uh, when I uh, when I say this is uh, this is multi-purpose meaning I can use this as uh, as an index tab and at the same time I only I will only use this for the first page all throughout uh, February till December and then at the same time, um, the other purpose of this one is, let's say, for example, this is like a paper. If I want to stick things in, like continuation or whatever, because I've seen people do it, this will be the sticker or the paper that will be holding them in, and then you close it out like that. So that's this one. And uh, the pencil board. So this is very helpful as soon as I was using this because when I try to write, it does give you like that flat surface that you're looking for. And as for the ink, uh, I'm still using a fountain pen. This uh, is, I just continually use the Vinta inks, the, the shade is Agen Armada because that was already inked up on my uh, Twisby uh, 580 ALR purple edition. So I don't want to, you know, be just because you're changing things, I don't want to waste the ink inside because the color is really beautiful. And the previous one that I used to use before, it's already finished actually. Uh, this is the uh, Pilot Kakuno. Uh, I'll be cleaning this one once uh, I've finished uh, the ink inside in here, which is same as this one. So hopefully I've given some ideas for those who are still thinking on what they're going to do with their techo. And uh, my advice for anybody who is still afraid to write or because they're gonna make mistakes or whatever, if, if it's still bothering you or you really don't know what to do with the yearly index or the monthly ones or even this turning the page and as well as for the coming up January, my suggestion is 
to just start writing on the dailies regardless whether you put stickers stamps whatever just start writing and as you continue writing for the next couple of days or weeks if there's any idea that spark you if you'd, you'd like to put in this one then that's the time you try to do those things so that you won't get um, overwhelmed and at the same time your commitment to writing almost every day or for whichever maybe you got a busy day let's say you're busy on the Sunday you forgot what it is maybe have some sticky notes or anything that you'd like to take note of even if it's just one sentence when that important event or memory brings back to you to uh, to your recollection you'll be able to continually write and if you don't feel the need to write you can always doodle put pictures whatever so if everything's really over me just start using the daily pages that's the best advice I can give anybody and I'm a first-time user for Hobonichi although I've been journaling for a couple of years now and that's uh, that's pretty much it and let me know in the comments how you've been using your techo so far and i wish everyone a happy happy new year thanks again for watching